What is up back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird wrestling world as you can tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts on Roxanne Perez former NXT uh, women's champion, former Ring of Honor women's champion, probably other championships I'm forgetting off the top of my head. But when it comes to Roxanne, I would love to know uh, what your thoughts are on her down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. And first time I ever heard of Roxanne was, I don't remember exactly when, but like spring, maybe the summer of 2021 through uh, Ring of Honor and uh, to crown a new uh, women's champion uh, because uh, the uh, former champion left for reasons I can't remember why off the top of my head. But either way, she won the tournament. She won. And I thought, man, this chick is like, barely 20 like she was 19 20 years old and she is pretty all things considering good in the ring is she the best i would say no uh personally but she's definitely considering her age uh really good then that was several years ago now it was a matter of when not if she would eventually sign with wwe because again she was born in 2001 uh, november of that year and she was already wrestling on uh, TV slash uh, Sinclair slash Honor Club uh, or free on their website at that time. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to Roxanne, I'm definitely more familiar with her within WWE than I am uh, with her outside of WWE. And I'm not saying you should put the uh, women's, uh, either women's championship, uh, the one on Raw or the one on SmackDown, on her yesterday but I think her and uh, probably one or two other people are going to be the next face of the women's division within WWE like the past and the present are like the Becky's the Charlotte's the Bailey's of the world present and foreseeable future at this rate are like the Bianca Belair's kind of deal like her uh, Roxanne that is is going to be the the face of when the Bianca Belair's uh, are going to slow down uh, kind of deal uh, and whatnot or maybe not a uh, shift focus on the next generation I should say and for myself personally even though I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of Roxanne I will fully met her in the ring really good considering the age considering the experience and her on the mic definitely needs for myself personally uh, some work and for myself personally, would not necessarily mind seeing a full-blown heel turn uh, kind of deal because I think that would not necessarily she needs a new spark, but for myself personally, that would be a different spark I would definitely be interested in uh, and whatnot. But yeah, for myself uh, personally, like her in the ring, like her on the mic, could definitely see her as... Uh, the next quote-unquote face of the women's division within WWE, similar to the Bianca Belairs, the Baileys, the Beckys kind of deal. Uh, but yeah, I would love to know what your thoughts are on uh, Roxanne Perez down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly than doing any of that, I hope genuinely you guys are doing okay mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's